Good morning world. Eden is having her teeth brushed this morning. Sasha bought one of these teeth cleaning kits. We've had them loads of times before, but Eden was in need of a peg brush. So just going through that little routine. And then we're gonna head off with my mum and dad into the forest and go and see if we can find a little pub and have some lunch there or brunch because they haven't had any breakfast yet. They get up late. You didn't enjoy having your teeth brushed, did you? No, Daddy, I did not like it. I hate having my teeth brushed. Eden will be coming into the pub with us. That's one of the good things about pub restaurants. Dogs are allowed inside, so that's why we're going there. I think it'll be nice. Are you going to buy me something from the dog menu, Mum? There's a dog menu, isn't there? There is a dog menu, yes. Yeah. This just arrived in the post. This was the belly band that I ordered for Sasha. Let's have a look at it, see what it looks like. No. Don't really know if this is considered good or not. Just try it on. We're just about to leave to go on the walk through the forest, so try it out on the walk and see if it gives any extra support. So it's just trying to work out this complicated belly band system. This is the picture. So the big bit goes underneath the belly. That bit goes right under the front. It's open. Oh, it goes around the back. Oh, this is like a... This is joined. Yeah. Yeah, you have to, you have to step into that. Step into that. I'm going to have to do this later. Step into it. And then this goes like this. Can we go here? Yeah. Can I do a twirl? <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> Try it's it out of... It's very attractive though, is it? It's not supposed to be attractive. It's supposed to support you. Just wear it for this walk and see if you feel less strained by the end of it. Put it under my clothes. No, put it like that. Let's just go. Oh. Like We're going through the forest, Sasha. Don't be kiss. <laughs> I do. Come on. Look, look, Mum, I've got my harness on, which is wrapped around me. We've both got we've got, both got braces on today. <laughs> See, I've got my harness. You've got your harness. Come on, Mum, let's go. <laughs> no time for that. <laughs> right, we're all packed in and ready to go. Look at these lovely houses. But these are worth a few pennies. If anybody's been watching Eight Miles From Home since the very beginning, the first shot in the very first episode was filmed right here at this golf course before we left England to go to Thailand. Didn't really remember this until yesterday when Sasha suggested that we go on this walk. You have to be careful when you walk down this public footpath because the golfers are obviously playing active games of golf. Is the stick helping? Yes, yes. Makes it easier to walk? Yeah, definitely. These are pretty purple flowers. Well, they're weeds, really. Look nice. Close the gate behind you. Hiking rules. Do you remember the last time we were doing the England hiking through the Peak District and we taught you about English hiking rules. Always close the gate behind you in case there's animals. Sometimes they've got cattle here wandering about. Oh no, is that a raindrop? It's not supposed to rain for a few hours, so I thought I'd be all right. It's raining. I think it's passing. The rain, I think it's passing. That didn't take long. A minute. Blackberries, they're not black yet, they're still green. You can eat them when they're when they've gone black. Brings back some fond memories of childhood. Picking blackberries by the house and making blackberry crumble. Used to take ages to pick them all. Look at these furry little shrubs. I wonder what they are. They smell nice. They smell like pine. There's a police training grounds nearby, so I think a helicopter's coming into land. That's why you've got to be very careful where you fly your drone around a city because anywhere and everywhere there can be some kind of 
landing zone for ambulance helicopters and police training helicopters aircraft in general there's like three airports all around London we're walking into this nice tunnel of green my dad is struggling it's a fairly strenuous walk for him you feeling okay though sort of you think you can manage it I could do choice I'll have to carry you yeah. <laughs> but we're almost there look see over there that's the stables this is where Gillian keeps her horse oh. Yes, Gillian has a horse. By the way, before people start making assumptions about Gillian's wealth because she's got a horse or something, she's far from being wealthy. She was given a horse by her dad a long time ago and she pays for it with her job just like anybody else would. But it's her main hobby, so it's kind of the main thing she spends her money on. She's not rich. I know some people might think that owning a horse is a very affluent thing for most people, especially in the UK. Look who's there waiting for us. Eden, you waiting for your granddad? Look at this concerned doggy. Oh, good girl. Good girl. You concerned about your granddad? He made it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you'd be hungry enough to eat. Sasha said it took exactly half an hour to do the walk. So we'd normally do it in about 15 minutes. So double the time, not too bad. Point is, we made it. We made it. Oh, yeah. Sasha's found the doggy menu. <laughs> this is the human oh. menu. Oh, where is the dog menu? It's on the bar. Oh, so you have to go in with it? Oh, okay. Well, should we get her a doggy menu? Yeah, we'll go in. Looks like they've got a pretty good pizza menu here. But I'm also looking at this vegetable lasagna, 9 95 Oh, yeah. Where is it? Doggy roast. The doggy menu's on the wall. We're gonna get Eden a cappuccino and a home cooked ham slice, right? Tray full of goodies. We've ordered from the menu for you, haven't we? It's gonna be nice. Look at the lovely flowers and the weather is brightened right up. So it's, it's a good thing we're outside now, isn't it? Look at the sky. Hello doggy. You come back again. <laughs> Eden's found her safe place. You want ketchup or egg that? and chips. For that, yeah? Mum and Dad. Chunky chips. Eden's food has arrived. This is bought specially for you, Eden, from the dog menu. Sit. Looks nice, doesn't it? Vegetarian. <laughs> and this is Eden's puppuccino. <laughs> That she just whipped cream in a cup. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna like it's that. A very I think. big treat for you, Ethan. You, I'm gonna get very fat. <laughs> <laughs> get quite a bit of ham for one pound fifty. Very specific, aren't you? Yeah, I think, nice? I think Eden's on a diet because she spat out all the fat and just ate the ham. We also got this margarita pizza, which looks quite nice, and a vegetarian lasagna. All good. I was curious to see if Eden will like the puppuccino. Oh, he's like a little cat. Oh, so nice. We had to do a mad dash inside because the good old English weather decided to pour with rain and everyone ran for shelter inside. So we got the last two tables. <laughs> we managed to save the food and drinks though, so we are just continuing indoors. You got your puppuccino, Eden. You don't want any more, do you? There's your friend over there, sleeping. I've gone for a cappuccino to while away the rainy hours. Looks okay. A bit bitter. English Cocker Spaniel in English pub. <laughs> Your puppuccino is down on the ground. <laughs> Meet some friends. <laughs> I'm getting lots of strokes. Everyone's stroking Eden now. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving the pub now. The rains have stopped for now. 
This pub, the Owl, is one of the most pet friendly pubs we know of near where we live. Not all the pubs are pet friendly because a lot of them got bought out by big corporations a few years back to keep them running and they changed some of the rules but generally most pubs will allow them in villages and stuff but you have to check. So the total bill for the vegetable lasagna and chips, the margarita pizza, two gammon egg and chips, Eden's cappuccino, ham that she ate, a cappuccino and a latte and another regular coffee, two spring waters in a bottle and two pineapple juices came to 54 pounds I think which is not cheap for a lunch definitely not it's just over a tenner each for your lunch so yeah that's how much it costs to go out for lunch in England there's a pheasant sitting there on the edge Whee! yeah Eden used to catch those <laughs> Tackling this simple walk with my dad has made me realise a little bit more how much time wears on the human body. Just five years ago, my dad was running full speed in Thailand. Ailments came by, things changed quite rapidly. He's doing his best. I'm trying to keep him active and keep him out with us. And it's just nice to experience a little family walk through their own local town. What's simple for us is a much bigger achievement for him. And that's why I'm glad we made the decision to move from Thailand closer to family so that we'll have more opportunities to do stuff like this. And hopefully, if everything works out the way we want, he'll be able to see us in Portugal and we'll be able to do all of these adventures together with a new addition to the family too. We have no regrets. What's this collection? It's a little thing. Collection of wildflowers. Just walking back to the car now. Then I've got to take my mum up to the hospital. So from a nice afternoon to a, probably a horrible afternoon for her. <laughs> Hopefully nothing serious, just to check up. Mum, Dad and Eden are out of sight. We've been lagging back for a while now. I think today for me has been another example of how taking a moment to realise where you are can make a massive difference to your experience. When my dad first came out here, he was like, how long is this walk? Oh, it's raining. Oh, I'm not sure about it. But once you actually get on here, even a normal forest path like this, just stopping and looking at the wildflowers and Sasha's off over there picking some little colours to put together into an arrangement. Watching the planes go by and the little helicopters and generally being here in a place that normally would be a walking path to the pub. Your perception changes everything. How you're feeling inside changes everything. You can be happy in the city, on a farm, in a mountain, all kinds of places you could be happy but you just need to take it in. All right, so we're back in the car. I think the walk went down well with everyone. It was a nice walk despite the rain. It was nice and refreshing. It took us half an hour to get back as well. My belly band was very good. I didn't have any stitch feelings. So yeah, it was a good, did the job. And it was very supportive of my bum. <laughs> We're just driving through some London streets. We just dropped off Jay's mum at the hospital. And we're now gonna go and grab some bits for dinner. Jay's brother's coming around for dinner tonight. So we need to stock up. I'm meeting a friend for coffee. And that's what the afternoon holds. But we are gonna go ahead and end the vlog right now. Hope you enjoyed our little trip to our little country forest pub. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. And please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also these tiny moments, which you can click here. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. What should we get? Quiche?
Um, I like a nice open top pie with some new potatoes. I feel like I've eaten a lot of pies recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've eaten more pies being a vegetarian than ever. Yeah, it's, I think we're in that, that adjustment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a workout. <laughs> it's easier when you're cooking at home. Yeah. Much easier. 